There's more to that clip, but remember, the House investigation was paused when Gates was investigated by the U.S. Department of Justice for sex trafficking over allegations that he paid for sex and had sex with an underage woman. In December 2022, Joel Greenberg, a former Florida tax collector whose arrest led to the investigation of Gates, was sentenced to 11 years in prison for offenses including sex trafficking a minor. And did he? The young women say yes, so I don't know. I wasn't there. I have more great clips from this interview, but as you saw, former Speaker of the House Kevin McCarthy put Matt Gates on blast live on Bill Maher's television show and called him out for those allegations. And before you praise Kevin McCarthy too much, the rest of the interview was brutal for him. He was running defense for Donald Trump, saying that Democrats are the real threat to democracy, consistently downplaying the threat of Donald Trump, the threat he poses to our institutions. I don't know why he agreed to this interview. He looks like an idiot multiple times. I mean, sure, there are a few funny moments, but overwhelmingly, it just angered me listening to him repeat these talking points that I hear all of the time. Watch this clip of him saying that Democrats are the real threat to democracy. Would you not say like the Democrats, democracy is on the ballot? Yes. Okay. Republicans think the same thing. I know. But but we think something different. This is where we talk past <laughs> each other. Because you will say, oh my God, Donald Trump about democracy. Did Donald Trump ever suppress a laptop and get 51 people, people who in the intel community used suppress to be in charge of the CIA? a laptop? Hunter what? Biden's laptop. Oh, for fuck's sake. No. No, 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 no. You I can't, can't say that. Can't, no, no, I did. No, 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 no. I just said it. I, I, you I took, I just you can't. had the second, the now on, Secretary of State and the people man. ahead of CIA to tell the American public that it's not true. You had them go after newspapers. You can't reprint it, social media. They changed the whole Democrat primary system to rig it for someone to come through. And really, in your position, if you think about this, it's not the same position the majority of Americans have. NPR and PBS did a poll of just independence two months ago. Who was the greatest threat to democracy? Yeah. By 53%, it was Joe Biden. That doesn't mean it's right. Yeah, but never prosecuted his political opponents. What? Did, he, did he ever indict any of them? He himself was indicted. That's the okay, a few things. Literally nobody cares about Hunter Biden's laptop. Most Americans are trying to provide for their family and are working. The only people that care about Hunter Biden's laptop are the people on the fringe right to scroll Twitter and the New York Post all day. Secondly, there are a few moments during this interaction and coming up where Bill Maher could have slammed Kevin McCarthy a little bit harder while he's projecting. Bill Maher has a few good zingers. He's a comedian, but if he wanted to debate him a little bit more, he could have actually talked about the Raffensperger phone call. He could have talked about Trump wanting to terminate the Constitution. He could have talked about Trump and Eastman trying to pressure Mike Pence. There's so many ways to get Kevin McCarthy here, but watch. But did Boy. he go, yeah. That, that's, not, that's not who he, yeah. that's, but he, Kevin, he to this day. He was indicted on something other Americans have never let's, been Let's kitchen before. table it for, okay. the, for the people who don't get inside <laughs> baseball like that. All right. He has not conceded the last election. Did he win the election? Did Hillary the, Clinton ever concede? Her? Yes, she did. No. She came out in, before the cock crowed. Do you know? She was out <laughs> conceding the election. Why are you denying this obvious because fact? Because she continues to say it. Listen, she, what, Democrats what challenged the presidential election in Congress in 2000, 2004, 2016. Challenging is not the same as not conceding. Hillary Clinton conceded the election. You guys like to conflate this with people who say that Democrats have said Donald Trump's not a legitimate president. Yeah, maybe that's not a cool thing to say. It's different than actually not conceding you the know, election the, the, and the, saying, D did, he, did he win that election, Biden? Yes, I've okay. said it from the beginning. Okay. I don't have no qualms right. with that. Right, and you actually told that to Trump. Yes. And then you switched. No, I haven't you switched. Did. You went down to Mar-a-Lago and kissed his ass after that. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> it's so bullshit. so bullshit. You know some great jabs from Bill Maher there. I absolutely hate when Republicans bring up that Hillary Clinton talking point. They say liberals are a hive mind, yet they all copy paste that same exact Hillary Clinton talking point. And I don't understand how someone like Kevin McCarthy, who can admit that Biden won the election, the election was not stolen, can also look at Donald Trump, who has repeatedly lied about the stolen election even before the election happened. How does this person, who at least is living someone in reality, knows that Biden won, whereas a lot of Republicans still think that Trump won or Trump is 
was still the president. He knows that Biden won, and he knows that Trump lied about election fraud. How can you support someone like that unless you're absolutely spineless, as Kevin McCarthy is? There's more to the clip. Leave a like if you also get angry when Kevin McCarthy slithers his way around these answers. And Bill Maher did a good job, but he inevitably turns it into a comedy show and doesn't actually press Kevin McCarthy as much as he should. He doesn't pin him down. And to Bill Maher's point, Donald Trump has always been incredibly buddy-buddy with Putin. Trump always uses this term, America first. People in his fan base use this term, America first, but they put America last on the world stage. They want to turn us into isolationists like it is 1939. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment a blue heart, hit that subscribe button, and have a great day.